Chitin. Okay, you can try. Okay, so hope nobody will else joining. So okay. So let's start. So uh, next around forty-five minutes we are going to spend, and the focus will be there on the basic performance tuning uh, question, and. Uh, just as a basic rule, we have to be uh, more specific. Number one, number two, we are not going to say whichever statement, word, or keyword which is just letting us in trouble because the moment we will use any specific words, which uh, or the statement on which we are not very much confident, definitely you are going to be asked the questions on the base of those statements or uh, those words, okay? So be uh, specific. Don't try to just uh, uh, over express it, whatever you know, to the point answer it, okay? So uh, to start with, uh, as a team, you are working a project and uh, we all know there's a basic standard for doing the support work. So what exactly is the support work? Because normally most of us to start with, we fail to understand. Just I was uh, speaking to a few of, uh, you can say our uh, ex uh, uh, colleague, you can say they join means two, two person I uh, was just uh, talking to. So what exactly the support means? What are the different type of work we are going to expect or we are going to do? Uh, monitoring, suppose, what kind of monitoring? The specific word was uh, we have to do the batch monitoring. What exactly this batch monitoring is all about? So we all have little idea like uh, there are n number of scripts we use to keep in database. That scripts are doing what? Those scripts are basically monitoring different label or different uh, uh, aspect for the smooth running of the servers, like maybe CPU utilization, maybe storage utilization, maybe it's a warning that is 80% or maybe 95%. So maybe memory utilization, maybe CPU, maybe number of connection you have on the server, there could be n number of situations, circumstances, we are keep monitoring in the database server side. So any challenges you are going to get from DB side or database side, you are going to be the responsible person on those or that specific point of time where or on that specific range you are working or you are on support. So let me just give you the brief idea about because in core IT or non-core IT, the support system is very common. Maybe to start with, uh, we fail to understand, but ultimately in this type of uh, project, we used to have 24 into seven support. So maybe at one week you are on support. What exactly it means? It means whichever issues you are going to have in that database project, on those specific range, it may be weekly basis, it may be daily basis, it may be weekend basis. It depends on company to company. So if you are on support, you are going to have one cell phone or you have to sit in front of your system. Any issues comes, the support team or the monitoring team will call you and you have to respond. The issue may be small space issue, Issues may be database crashes. Issues may be specific performance issue that is impacting as a whole application. 
there could be different type of issues you are going to get call from. And if you're getting any call, if you are not able to resolve it then and there, there are some process we have to follow. What is the process? If you're not able to resolve, you have to just ask your senior. If senior is not having the, the solution, you have to go to different label, maybe management label, maybe at last Oracle. They will all come together on a call and we, not only uh, the database team, the entire the team involved in that project. It includes system engineer, it includes software developers, it includes database administrator, it includes the change management who will just monitoring as a whole the things, how things are going on. So you have to just check or work on your bit of pieces or your area. It might happen that your area, that means database area, no impact. It may happen different uh, network issues. Maybe some issues related to application. You have to be on call to fix it. So hope we got some idea about the, you can say the support work. This is the work you have to do. Maybe only weekends only, maybe weekly, maybe monthly. It's totally depend on the project you are going to be on support. And that is the reason we used to ask, okay, I was on support or I was on on call. So these are the terminology basically we should know. Few of you know it already. Few of you just learning and knowing now. Now, coming back to the question, the scenario is, and again, this is very common question for all of you. Maybe you are just going to join as a fresher, maybe a few of you have already experienced, maybe two, three years experience, maybe four years, maybe 10 years, even maybe 15 years. Question is common. And so the way of answering maybe going to vary depending on your own experience. Now, question is very simple and I, uh, I'll just uh, request you all to just uh, give your best to answer it. And that, because on the basis of that only, at least I will come to know where you are. That is the main so focus area for me to check you all. Okay, so question is, suppose you are on call or you are on support and you receive call from monitoring team. And the question is, application teams are, they have received several calls saying that we are not able to connect to database. What will be your approach to fix this issue or the moment you receive the call, what will be the action item you will be just thinking and doing it back to back? Hope question is clear to all of you. What happened? Okay. Go ahead, Arup. Hello, sir. Uh, whenever I get this type of uh, message or this type of warning, is from it possible to be a little louder? Uh, I'm not yes, sure. Uh, I'm getting a little less voice. Or, or Hello, yeah, Hello, sir. Yeah, for the first thing means uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll check. I'll get the username and password from the client and I'll uh, check in my device that is it connecting in my device or not. And if I can able to connect in my device, I'll ask him that the database has no problem. It means the problem is in your application or in your device. That's the first thing I'll do. And after that means if I can and if uh, if I, I uh, if I can able to uh, 
log in the database sorry if i cannot log in the database then i'll check the alert log file that any alert is came or not uh, regarding the uh, database uh, login situation and mm -hmm. uh, after that i'll check the listener status that it is running uh, fine or not and then if there is no issue with those uh, i'll also check the users uh, password got expired or not it's due to some policy mm -hmm. the users password got uh, expired or not and also i'll check the account is uh, the account status is available means it is not got locked the account not got locked and uh, the uh, connected uh, sessions means the number of connecting the number of connected sessions are means uh, less than the threshold level and uh, also i'll i'll check means uh, the tns uh, the tns name so which the client have is it correct or not means with that tns he should join mm -hmm. these steps i'll take and okay. Yes. Got it. Thank you. Uh, who is uh, who raised hand next? Uh, I think uh, Arup Jitendra, you are done, right? No, Jitendra next. Arup was done. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, first of all, first of all, uh, I'll check uh, the my database is up and running or not. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, then uh, I'll check. Am I able to log in to the database or not? Uh, if I am able to log in, I, I will uh, I will check the user user's privileges uh, that he is having the privilege or he he is uh, providing the correct uh, uh, like service name and uh, service name to connect to the database or not. And uh, uh, then after I'll check the uh, limits he he is he has that uh, he has expired that limit to uh, number of uh, connects he is having or number of uh, how you password check? he has expired or not limit how you check uh, in profile sir profile you will come to no if the limit is suppose uh, 500 then what you will do okay yeah, I, I'll, well, I'll inform well, the reason uh, to the user why he is not uh, able to connect. Okay. Uh, thank you. This is it. Yes, sir. Uh, at first, I will check that uh, the database is running or not. Uh, if that is uh, okay, then I will check the listener and TNS. Uh, and and I'll also check that. Uh, uh, I will I, I will ask I will ask him about the password ID and password and if I able to log in then I'll say that uh, the problem is in application and uh, uh, if if I will not able to uh, log in then I will check uh, the alert log and the T uh, and uh, the TNS and the listener. Okay. Okay, Madhu. Yes, sir. So check the listener status, then TNS entry, then after alert box. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Sajala? So, sir, first of all, we will check the listener status of the listener. Mm -hmm. Then we will check TNS entry. We will check if the password got expired for that particular user, mm -hmm. if the privilege is there to access database. So these are the things which is... Uh, which is the which is very common to check first okay so here one of the biggest mistake you all are doing the related password see if password will have some issue it will be giving wrong password and if that kind of issue it will be fixed it is not going to be uh, you are not going to get call or something like that urgent call so when issues are coming means or some issues means uh, as a whole application is having some issues Application means everybody. Whoever is using that application, nobody is able to work properly. That is a means untold statement. When so applications, application is not able to connect means that. 
that application may have 10 users, may have 20, may have 100, maybe more, maybe a little less, maybe only two. So here, whenever we are getting this question, as a whole, everybody is impacted. Otherwise, you'll be getting calls saying that, okay, one or a group of users are having some problem or maybe password related uh, issues. So we are not going to say it's a password expand. No, never. Question is, you got call. Yes, narrow down if you are able to connect from your own credential and they are not, you can ask who all they are not able to connect. On the basis of that, you have to take action. So long story short, how to respond to this type of, this is very common question we are going to face. So the very first, what should be the sequence? See, nothing wrong and right. Ultimately, your message should be clear, loud and clear, with confidence, you know that subject. But few of the world what you guys have used, that is totally, means I can sense that you are somehow mugging up or somebody have asked some time, you are trying to, just like this password uh, questions uh, only. So the very first thing, definitely, because I told you the answer for this, or maybe many a time. So just try to realize the situation you are into and start just doing that. Fear of you are saying that, okay, very fast you are going to check the listener status or something like that. Is it so? The best way, log into the server. Check the load on the server. See the sequence. Log into the server. It is ensuring that server is up if you are able to log in. Checking the load on the server. We know how to check the load. Then connecting to the database from your local machine or connecting to database by what SQL plus user ID password at the rate whatever connection is. If three thing is okay, you can maximum one check one more alert log. So these are the very basic check this four five step we have to follow. What next? If you are good with this, at least 70 to 80 percent, you don't have any critical issues from the database, critical issues. Because in the alert log, if some critical will be there, you have already uh, seen it. But few of you didn't use the word alert log check. That means we are not following the basic step. Forget out some locking and then the WR and then uh, ASH. Forget out that part. If you have failed to just use that uh, uh, statement having that alert log or some, some the, that kind of checking. When we are checking connection, user ID password at the rate something, if listener have some issue or some database issue or something, if connection fails, it will give error then and there, maybe listener not found. So instead of checking those two, two three things, server up or not, or if you will ask me, what, are the, what is the best practice? Very first thing what I'll do. Very first thing, if you have your local machine connected, uh, open just simply from local machine or from any uh, tool like maybe Toad or SQL Developer, these two uh, tool we are uh, using in the industry. Or if you don't have this simple, go SQL plus user ID password at the rate connect string, hit enter. If you are getting connected, so chances are 70%, there is no big challenge in the database side. Why? If server down, you are not able to connect. Listener down, you are not able to connect. 
if session exceeded a limit somebody was saying some session related or limit related thing that limit is there normally as a whole uh, the bigger boundary or bigger limit you can say it's there in the parameter file process equal to some some uh, value we used to give 500 600 uh, whatever so if you are not able to connect that means it will be giving error saying that whatever maximum uh, session exceed uh, threshold then and there one this connection will just give you much more clear idea issue is not related to connection issue is not maybe so issue is not related to database or uh, that listener or server it's itself a down down so after checking this thumbs up at least no major breakdown next go to that uh, server and check top whether the because it might happen most of the time we uh, used to get most of the time as per the when this professional experience whoever is working very first thing it might happen that problem just happened half an hour back but when it came to you everything maybe whatever reason everything is working okay but how to check at least basic stuff if you not check, connect with the sql plus user id password at the red connect string you're not able to means so confirm saying that everything is okay at least the basic stuffs are okay so at least you can convey this message then go check the load server how top command now you can go and just check the alert log file why because it might happen that half an hour back the specific process got exceeded it might be a number of connections it might be a number of bad job was running and it finished within the next 10 minutes or five minutes but alert came already to monitoring team they are just calling you back to or they called you maybe 10 15 minutes back so they found that time after that it should resolve automatically you are checking no load is good that is no concern nothing check alert log everything is clean if it shows you saying that that uh, the exceeds limit process uh, exceed max oh, range that means what it was problem was there but now no. so you can go and check what is the current connection what is not those thing and you can make sure that yes so basic checks are connect to the uh, server by the means at the rate right, that means connection top alert log bare minimum this three thing will give you the you can say clearance ground clearance will be done in the first time so reply will be i have checked the basic db looks okay and further investigating the moment you will say no no everything is good from database side application team will say no no some problem is there we are not able to it seems database connection problem it seems it's a database issues what next you will do okay after checking this basic what we will do i'm assuming you guys don't know anything tool or something you are having just the basic standard idea no tool has such knowledge this tool is there like maybe oem access normally you used to have simple two click will give you the clearance after but basic thing will be same what i mentioned check that go to oem check it it will be showing us the graphical this interface but the question is if your oem is not open many times we have faced many many a time oem is not opening it's used to hang what will do that time oem it's okay to click it will, it will give us the idea but what about if oem tool is not there with you or it's not working or you don't have the password or credential 
or you don't know. OEM or any other tool, what you do. So next, if they still saying that, no, no, some problem is so, or some something is not working okay, it seems from database side. How you are going to be 100 percent sure that this is not the DB issues? Because we all know it's a little bit blame game. DB will say developer, development problem, developer will say DBA problem. DB will say it's a network issue, network issue. No, it's a server issue. System engineer team will say, no, no, everything is good. Some problem with the network. And so it's keep on rolling. ABC, CAB means whichever way it will. But how to make confirm that, okay, everything is looking pretty decent, pretty good into database site. So next, immediate check. If you don't have any tool, just check whether any lock is there on a session or not. Statement whether it's a blocking session is there or not. What query, you can check it. Plenty of queries are there in the... So one of the next important part is really it's a issues from the DB side, maybe due to any reason, but right now issues persist in DB side. So, and people are, because there are a number of tools now today in the market, the tool will tell you which layer the problem is. Is it a network layer issues? It's a database issues, database layer issues, or maybe some other like development. So development, or you can say it's some middleware that is web logic or some, some middleware uh, issues. So four to five pair minimum uh, layers are there. Clubbing together, any softwares are working. If that is the case, the monitoring team will say it's an issue with the database. No issue, they are finding in the network or application or middleware. They are pointing through that tool. That tool, its issues is there in the database site. Now it's more tougher. Earlier you were saying no, no, or they are saying, but now upper management is saying no. As per the tool, what we have. It's showing it's a database layer issues. Database layer issue means issues in the database. What you will check next? I told you, you have to check the blocking session, number one. But if we will get blocking session, what we will do? We will kill the blocking session. Because if blocking session is there and we used to get uh, the time. If it is more than 10 minutes, it's blocking, more than 10 minutes. So safest way is, because if you are dealing with this, that means you are on call. On call means I'm referring you are on conference call or con call having different team, maybe 15, maybe 20, maybe 50, maybe 500 will, people will be there on the call. Because these are the issues, it's a critical type of thing. So, we were discussing what next? I said, okay, blocking session check. You found blocking session. Can I kill any blocking session then and there? No, never. That means any act activity is going on. Okay, so there will be or used to be there lock on different level. So if the standard is if the process or the particular session is blocking for longer than 10 minutes, or 15 minutes or 20 minutes. So 10 is the safer because few of the program used to run, it used to take long time, like backup jobs. Maybe applicants team are running different type of reports. It used to take time. But 
while doing this, it may lock something or other for some time, not for ever. So if you are getting any session blocked for more than 10 minutes, the 10 minutes may vary. It may be 5 minutes, it may be 15 minutes, depending on the project where you are working. So normally what happens if it is taking longer time, that means the, the blocking session, who is blocking, it's taking longer time. We have to kill it before killing it. If you are junior, we are keeping you our junior DB. You have to immediate talk to your senior or lead or manager, whichever level. Explain these are the situation. Can I kill it? You are not going to get permission then and there. They will ask simply your soon senior, what will be the impact if you'll kill it? So that session, you can just ask on the call that this is the session running for last half an hour. It is doing this activity. What this activity means, you'll be able to find out what this particular session is doing. Is it taking backup? It's your call, DBA call. But here we are talking about no DBA, everything is okay. Something is missing or something is there in the application site. You know, if you'll kill it, the problem will resolve. It might happen that in the next two minutes, some of the other big jobs were running due to that. Due to that job, it was showing blocking. Maybe after two minutes, everything will be clear automatically. It might happen. So totally depend on the session why it is blocking. If it is database related thing, we have to take a call. If you have smart, means uh, you are smart enough to understand the thing you face in the past, you take action. Nobody will say. But if, if it is not, uh, it's uh, coming to your mind what to do, what confuse, talk to senior. So normally before killing it, killing any session, if it is Related to application, application team is the owner. We cannot kill to resolve issues then and there. Yeah, if they are not coming up and the revenue is losing like anything, you can take it. But as per protocol, as per rule, we have to follow the step. As per step, we have to just take permission from the development team, development owner. Can I kill it? This program is doing this, this, this. Normally, they used to say, yes, though the big issues are going on, yes, yes, you can kill. Most of the time, the moment you are killing it, another blocking thing will pop up. So normally, if it is related to that work, you will be able to realize you can kill it. So blocking session is the problem, basically. But here, a number of questions are coming to us. Like, sir, but uh, how I will come to know what that particular session is doing. Because development team will ask what that session is doing. So, through specific query, you will be able to find out. And that query is already available in our uh, website. You can just check it or you can just Google it, you'll be getting it. So it will give uh, all the detail, how long, what it is doing, that is program one uh, keyword is there, you know, that column is there, it is showing what that particular session or sessions are doing back to it. So it will give the clear picture what this session is doing. You have to inform development team, they will say, okay, okay, kill. Most of the time they used to say, kill 99% as per personal experience to avoid the situation. Or we used to kill it. The question is, how to kill? specific session or how to kill specific process related to that. This is one of the common thing, maybe not fresher, but little experience senior they used to do killing the session, how to find out how to, which session to kill and uh, when to kill. So when little bit idea we got it saying that, okay, we got permission from the development team or you got permission from your senior, whichever way. Now question is how to kill a specific process, how to kill 
uh, specific say so anyway what are the ways we know to kill the system to kill the process anyone no idea yeah go go ahead madhu sir ps minus e of grip pimon okay then concentration of number and then kill kill minus 9 and put the number okay anybody else yeah jitendra go ahead uh so to kill any uh, uh, user or any session uh, we'll uh, fire a query select uh, sid uh, comma serial has mm -hmm. a username uh, from v dollar session mm -hmm. we will provide the username in where clause where clause the, the where clause then where uh, username equals to the that username or we can provide the status of that user also uh, inactive okay see how to find out we got to know that which are the blocking session from the query and uh, through that query we will able to create script whichever blocking session is there it will create a script to kill it alter session kill whichever two parameter that means uh, the session id and the serial has and then whatever query that query will give which all are the blocking session and on the basis of that output that means it will be sub query normally on the basis of that output you will be creating one script which will give the exact sql statement like alter session or alter system kill session these thing whatever syntax you'll be getting it so answer should be we used to use script to find out blocking session and to generate the script to kill those blocking session through that we used to do it can you write the script now sorry sir i forget the exact syntax it will take time so normally we used to keep it handy we are just using it so blocking session next question if no blocking session is there suppose still they are saying problem what do you do anybody question is we checked the, that connection was okay top was okay blocking session or uh, alert log okay blocking session okay no no blocking session is there What else? Yeah, please go ahead. Sir, sometimes backup and other activities are running some simultaneously. So we need to make sure that backup is running in off business hour or not. How you will check backup is running or not? How we will check? This uh, is saying that the question is to means uh, anybody can participate. that uh, we can check maybe uh, some backup jobs are running and due to that might be applications run it might happen it used to happen so how to find out whether the job is running or not or which all are the jobs running right now in the database server or in that specific server hope question is clear to all of you question clear yes no from sagam you can speak that way or you can put in the chat box whether you are getting or not getting yes sir yes sir question is clear yes sir getting the question everybody wants to attend okay there are any ways yeah Yes, sir. If if means logical backup is going on, we can check with db underscore data pump underscore jobs that means any logical backup is going on or or not with that view. Okay. Physical backup. 
physical backup, uh, no ideas. Yeah, see, the very basic. This is a situation we all are facing, and uh, you are going to get question in this kind of thing. So one of the main thing always remember, if something is running or not for longer time, through V dollar session you will able to get it. Last ET time is there. One one uh, if you check, you'll be getting V dollar session. So if any session active more than ten minute, you'll check for how long the session is active. It, you might be getting. 15 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute, how these long only backup jobs are running normally. Or second option, any batch job application team ask us to put into our server site. Those are running. So you'd be getting through. There are many ways are there. Two, two standard, uh, just remember, one through reader session will come to know. But sir, uh, other than that, normally what we used to do. So if you want to very much uh, sure that, okay, it's, it's related to database or something, logical or physical backup, PS minus EF, grep. You have to give, if it is normally backup means logical backup means EXPD. Just the moment you type the expedition, it will show us whether anything is running or not. Same for Armen. Or Armen related, normally what happened? We used to have some, some standard in the company. Job name, Armen job related name. So just like it, uh, maybe HP or DB job. So you know that DB, the, all the jobs, what we have written, Start with G, uh, DB. So PS minus CF, grep, DB. All it will show us if any active session is there for that. Maybe Armin. It will show us Armin is running. Or related to that, we have gone through, or uh, somebody have uh, answered in the last session when we were discussing long ops. One view is there, it will tell us normally. Whichever longer queries are running, long ops, long operation, it will tell us. So either way you can answer. As I mentioned to start with, nothing perfectly all right. You have to solve the issues. That is, approach might be 10. If you're knowing 10, well and good. But at least have two, three knowledge, or maybe one. You have to be confident in one at least. Keeping in mind, junior DB or something. So that we have to remember. Either long ops, either a PS minus CF grep. Just uh, check uh, that. Or V dollar session. More or less, we can just get some other other idea through that whether any longer thing is running. Suppose you didn't get here anything. No long ops, that is no long operation is going on. No jobs are, DB jobs are running. No application jobs are running in uh, your database server. What else? Anybody? We are just deep driving more and more and more. This is the pattern you might be just getting very on the call, interview call. Yeah, Mr. Jit, go ahead. Sir, uh, uh, sometimes database uh, goes into hung status if the archive destination is there. Then you can check archive destination uh, path uh, by using du uh, minus sh then archive uh, destination path. And we can check from, you can check there that it, it has become full or not. Yeah, see. Uh, that's what I uh, mentioned something back, right? We have already checked what alert log file. And that is the reason why we are saying go and check alert log file. As I mentioned, maybe Max is and maybe this is what you are saying. Maybe your uh, 
table space or data file got full 100%. That means insert operation or update operations are failing. This thing you'll be getting, it will, the error will capture into alert log file. Making sense? Because yes, sir. if you're yes, using sir. the basic thumb rule, it already caught up clear. So we have already passed these steps. Okay. Anything else? Uh, anybody? No one? Okay. <clears throat> if these are the standard thing we, if we are uh, gone through, next we will ask question. If because we are doing the uh, rigorous checking because application team or some uh, management, whatever tool they are using, they are saying that now we are going to involve more deeply with the development team. And some issue is there that definitely connections are there. That means something is happening in your database. So what is happening? Definitely some queries are running. That query may be insert, update, delete. Either of these three. Because we have already uh, solved that backup or something related, bad job. Everything is done, clear, no issues. And if problem is there in the database, and still it's a genuine problem. It's not that means very much possibility is there some issues from the database side. That is the reason through that tool, it is getting reflected. And uh, those tools were made for these purpose only. So you cannot blame, no, no, everything is okay. You have to check, you have to deep drive. What else you'll do? We will see which all other query running in a much more frequent basis. Okay, so, Sir, how to check which all are the query or maybe which all are the query SQL statement which is consuming most resource. Just like top 20 session we used to get or top 20 process we used to get top command, right? 20, 40, whatever, you can just change the number. Same way we can check which all are the SQL statement, top 20 or top 30 or maybe top five SQL statement is consuming much more resource. Resource means maybe CPU, maybe RAM, maybe uh, that, uh, yeah, CPU, no, RAM, time. It's taking longer time to finish. You have to identify that. Okay, these are the SQL statement. Uh, but how to fix or how to find out this is the problem. So then ultimately, if we keep doing this, we got okay, top by just looking into time, it is taking much more longer time to execute. How to find out those top or whichever statement, SQL statement is running faster than yesterday or faster than uh, a week back or maybe much more slower than last week or yesterday. How to just do compare this to? It might happen, somebody have dropped index or some, it could be a number of reasons. I'm not saying that uh, drop the index, but uh, let's assume something happened. What we will do basically to is check what has happened. And here we are coming with different type of report. We have at least heard or we know how to generate it. Like we have, we all have heard something called AWR report, something called ASH report, something called ADDM report. We will use this report. Question In which situation we will use which report? Question open to all of you. Because we, at least, we all have gone through this three type of report, right? At least how to generate that we all know, right? 
Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. And that answer is also that thing we in past we have decide, uh, discussed that in which situation we will use what. Okay. Silence means so uh, you don't know or uh, you know, forget it or uh, you don't want to speak. Which option? None of it. I have heard about, I have heard about the report. I know how to generate, but uh, I don't know how to read or in which scenario, uh, which report will work. So, that's okay. So, it is most of the today's session is instead of interview, it is the anyways. So, see, depend on what type of scenario. Scenario right now, what we are discussing, on that point of time, we will go for ASH report. It will show us active history that means right now what is happening because right now issue is there right so right now that means last 15 minutes what is going on by default is 15 minute uh, report it will generate it may be half an hour maybe one hour maybe different range uh, are there so if you will generate a such report it will give the current status of the database related to sql statement only based on uh, which SQL statement consuming uh, more CPU, which statement uh, is consuming more memory, which statement is uh, just uh, taking more time. So n number of cross-sectional thing, top 20 most CPU consuming, top 20 most time consuming, top 20. So it will give us different type of Scenario different type of output for the SQL statement in that report. So just sometime back I said top 20. How to find out? This is the, one of the ways to find out this. Other way, there is a set of queries there, run it, it will show. Now you found okay some statement and you found uh, nothing as a suspicious. What do you do there? It took time here, yeah, top the SQL statement also. Next, what you can do, because still they are saying issues are there. So whatever top SQL statement through different three, four category, I said maybe time taking more. Than, so what you will be finding, whichever is top few statement, it is on top in all the situation, like most time it is taking, most uh, resource it is consuming, top. Those SQL statement might be the problematic one. But how to find out it's a problematic one? Nobody will buy your uh, idea or oh, it may be. What is the guarantee? On what basis you're saying it may be? It may, may not be. How you're going to be so sure that this statement is having some problem? So, if you are not getting or making, uh, you are not in position to make any conclusion, go and generate a DDM report. So, ASS report is the session history. It will not give you the means other than that SQL statement related information. Not other than this. But AWR report will give the entire status, like all the thing what we uh, got it in uh, that ASH report, if you'll generate a AWR report for now, half an hour or maybe last one hour. Okay, so you might get all the detail what you got into ASH report. But here confusion, you said uh, might get means what? There is. But there are probability you are not going to get also. 
just this is a little deep okay just try to uh, understand the situation scenario awr report by default standard stuff what is the interval snap used to generate in awr default uh, interval anyone okay uh, can anyone tell me what is snap Yes, snap means the means the photocopy of the current database which is uh, stayed in csox uh, data file in csox table very good so snap means what every interval it used to take so what is the default interval for taking snap in normal database Anyone? No idea? Okay. Default is one hour. It can be changed to half an hour. It can be changed to two hour, three hour, four hour. It can be changed. How? You try it. The single statement is there. Is there in our uh, website? Those statement. How to just uh, change it? There is an interview question. How to change that uh, interval? Maybe right now one hour is there. I want to make it uh, two hour. Every two hour only the snap will be generated. Maybe I want to make it half an hour. Now, the default, as I mentioned, it's one hour. Suppose right now it's a 2220. So if it is hourly, so at 22001 snap is already generated. And you got call dot 2020 means 2205. And they said urgent, it's very till 22, that means 10 p.m. Database was absolutely perfect, but 10 p.m. is so 10 03 issues started happening. Can you please check? And it is a database related issue, it seems. So, in AWR report, I want to capture 2215 or 2220 or 2230. That means this half an hour interval, SQL statement or any other information, how we are going to get through AWR report. The SNAP used to generate every one hour maybe two hours. So that half an hour or maybe 20 minute status I want to know. How to know? Go for ASH report. Maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, by default 15 minutes, you'll be getting it. Then and there, what statement is there? Either you can go through different uh, queries there. If you're not handy with the query, just go and run ASH report. It will give, say some history. What is going on right now or last or five, 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes, maybe half an hour. In AWR report, it is going to tell everything, block size, your that uh, data files, the parameter files, the, it's a hell lot of thing. It's a MRI for entire component of the database. AWR. ASH, just specific session, not the entire body. Maybe only brain. So that is the main difference. ASH, just say some history, query only. AWR, each and every component starting from the parameter values, starting from your data file size, the location, the, uh, the top SQL statements, everything. And started uh, 12C version. If some problem is there in your database, Oracle thinks some advice is needed. A W R report will give us advice also. It was not there in the older version. Older version, advice only A D D M report. A D D M is for advice. Was for advice means till uh, eleven because 
12 onwards, person 12 onwards, if you have any issues in the database side, in AWR report itself, it will tell us the step. These are the issues and these are the action item. Everything they will be just giving you precisely, okay, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. So if all the thing, no, 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 no problem, no problem. Here, there is 99% chances you'll be getting some suggestion. Sir, what could be the suggestion if they will ask? That advice maybe create index on that table, that column with a SQL statement. Alter table, table name, or alter whatever command is there. Add index or create index, whatever. They will give the exact statement. And you have to just copy paste run it. In this case, done. It might happen, it will tell us that these SQL statements have to be tuned. So they will ask us, okay, use SQL tuning advisor. The moment you use that SQL tuning advisor, okay, uh, I'm not sure you guys have used it or not. If not used, suppose uh, uh, it was not um, covered in the session, you have to just Google it, do it. If stuck, I'll help you. By saying that, no, no, sir, it, uh, we never gone through it. It's okay. It will take, for me, it will take five minutes to show you. For you, maybe 15, maybe half an hour. While doing this, you will learn a lot of things. So that SQL tuning advisor, they will tell, okay, use SQL tuning advisor. The moment you'll use it, tuning advisor will give whether you have to analyze this table, that is some issue with the statistic, or maybe index or what. But sir, what happened if no advice came? You have done all, see, all the basic thing. And this is the question. What if you didn't get any advice from SQL tuning advisor or whatever you are using? Then what will you do? So if all these basic stuff you fail, you have to, you can say, so I'll, if in this situation, what we used to do, we used to open ticket with Oracle. If it is very urgent, P1 kind of thing, that is, uh, you all have learned the keyword. That means the mission critical, business critical, or so P1, P2, P3, P4. So highest priority, if something is impacting business, Oracle will join maybe within half an hour. They will ask a number of questions. I have just shown you how to raise the ticket last month. So you raise the ticket, Oracle will give advice, they will ask to upload trace file, all the alert log file and many more. They will be giving step what to do. So nothing to worry. You, we have to just know the process. The rest of everything will be taken care. Coming back to just uh, I'm not uh, putting name, one of our uh, member joined one uh, company and whatever knowledge we have, he's not going to use 5% of the knowledge what you guys have already acquired. Yes, salary is good, he's getting good salary, everything is good, but work is just monitoring the jobs, jobs monitoring. If some issue is there, you have to rerun the job. You have to just do a little bit trick and trick. That's it. So all these situations, what we are going through, this is if I'm not talking about the syntax, how to use it. If you are able to visualize, if you are able to just get what I'm talking about, so more than enough. I don't have the syntax for anything. I don't remember it. 
but I know how to use. So if I feel, if I'll means able to uh, relate what is going on with the proper step one step at a time, will able to resolve it. So Oracle will give the step, okay, do this, do this, do this, you will do it fixed. That's it. So see from where we started, where we ended. If you have this, if you have, you are in position to visualize how the things are happening, you are done. Any question? What happened? Are you guys just getting it, what I'm uh, saying, or just? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because see, don't go for that so-called yes, uh, engineering mindset saying, OK, sir, how I do? How far do you just find out? You'll get it. You have the concept. You have the, you'll able to get it. But situation, what do you do if you're stuck in this? That's what exposure is all about. Because here somebody was saying that I'll check PS minus a grep P1. P1 it's a database. It is not going to work if we will uh, just. Uh, and set it that way it's going to backfire us. Just try to understand the situation. Here we are talking about one specific season process, something is uh, stuck in. But if we are answering that entire PSN is ref, PMON or whatever, and kill that, so the entire database is gone. The job is also gone. Okay, so we have to just. Uh, realize the situation <clears throat> and it happens see you can say sir but we never work how come this is the way everybody is doing and doing good in job so nothing to worry these situations you know the trick you know the syntax how to do it it's not that you don't know but you never face this situation and that's what we are trying to just uh, make that situation front of you. So if that thing comes, we'll be able to fix it. Or we'll be able to just proceed at least. And otherwise the seniors are there. This is the extreme case if nobody is there with you. On that time we are talking about. These are the extreme, extreme situations you are going to deal with. Keeping in mind the scenario means uh, uh, the experience, what do you guys have? So, I uh, hope no question related to uh, that. Okay. Now, the three things that means when to use ASH, when to uh, use AWR, when to use uh, that ADDM. I already answered it. If you you got it well and good, not you have to just uh, do some research. But what is the main difference? In which situation I'll go for this, in which situation I'll go for that, uh, this kind of Okay. And then, uh, next thing related to uh, that is next, uh, you can say the next question related to that. If someone will ask us, that uh, what is the main purpose of AWR report? In which situation I'll use AWR report? How are we to answer it? Number one. Number two, which all are the component we will use or see? How we are going to answer it? So answer is very very simple. We used to make very much complex and this is we are talking about the interview purpose. Keeping in mind your experience. Normally in AWR report we used to, if some problem is there, it's coming under the top paragraph. It will tell these are the problematic area. 
it may be it will tell you the SQL statement if it is a problem. So normally we use to see the specific paragraph related to the issues. Maybe SQL statement related problem it will tell, maybe it will be saying that your renewal log buffer the size is not enough. It might be something else. So that particular, if you are getting that, because most of the time, if no issues in the database, no complex issues in the database, this thing will not top, top, top event. Top event will not come up. It will not pop up in AWR report. If some problem is there, it will come. So be straight, okay? Think straight saying that, okay, we used to run this. In the top event, we will be getting some problem is there. If some problem we are getting, we are, if it is little older version, go for ADDM report. It will give us the exact solution what to do. If you are using 12 zero onwards, you will be getting the solution in below in AWR report itself. Follow those things. That's it. Yes, so that's it. What I have used. That's it. That's what I have used. What is the other uh, purpose you have used normally? We used to, or I used to check the top consume SQL state, top resource consume SQL statement. Like CPU or so. We used to just analyze <clears throat> or uh, used to make feel that okay, this SQL might be the problematic one. What else you are using uh, this AWR report for? Normally, development team used to ask, okay, can you please send me top uh, 10 or top five SQL statement? Yesterday evening's time. So top 10 or 15 or 20 SQL tops, uh, 20 SQL statement, from yesterday, some specific time. How to find out? From that specific point of time, which top consume SQL statement was running in the server? How to find out? Go for AWR report. On that specific time, you'll be able to get. What else? So this much I have used. Don't go deep into it. That's what Almost everybody is doing. Keeping in mind experience one. You guys are forgetting about this. So this way, we can answer it also. Ultimate message will go, this guys. These guys have already worked on it. That's it. We got full marks. We have to learn this thing. And that's what really what we are doing. Because so many things, just somebody was, uh, somebody was saying that, but we don't know how to read it. That's done. What I said in three, four minutes. That's what we are doing. And that is 99% uh, keeping in mind your uh, zero to five or six years experience these guys are doing. So is it very tough? Sir, we don't know AWR report. See, three, four lines, that's it. This, this is the real application, real stuff what we, I personally use for. What else can you tell me? One more sentence, uh, one of the, you can say, very powerful use or power punch of AWR report. Practically we use most of the time. If you want to compare, suppose this Sunday, or last Sunday, same point of time, 9 to 10, what was the status? Sir, why we are comparing? Sunday, 9 to 10, some problem was there. So you compare last Sunday, what was the, so if you will have AWR report back to back, it, it used to uh, show you. Okay, what changes, parameter file, parameter file. 
it should be match if not matching that means might be some due, due to that change somebody have made some change you, so we are doing comparison with good time bad time and we will try to just compare good times thing is matching if not we have to take some action so for doing comparison maybe a month back parameter some maybe process size was suppose earlier 1000 now it is 200 by mistake somebody have done it's rare but just how to compare how to make sure how to so parameter file last month and now so we can compare somebody will ask okay uh, what is the growth of the database in one month this is very powerful okay database growth in one month take report of one month back specific time take uh, there is table space size is there compare that size what was the size right now what is the size see you can compare earlier size was suppose 8 gb right now it's uh, it's saying uh, showing you uh, 10 gb so 2 gb in one month 2 gb growth for specific table space what did i find see this is the use so you can generate a dollar report for the comparison purpose also see is it very tough that's what we are doing so hope at least we are clear with a dollar report addm as i told you all if some problem is there report we will be getting in a dollar report that's it it will tell us what problem what solution with step by step everything ash then and there right now 10 15 20 minute session history so this is what the basic is if we know at least this much 75% marks you are getting what about next 25% Lot of things are going to come under it. Lot of things. So, next five percent, I'm going to tell you. Okay, keeping in mind your experience. So, next thing, suppose some challenge is there with uh, SQL statement. How to tune it? As I mentioned, that one way tuning advisor will tell what to do, not to do. But if you want to check from your own end. what are the basic thing suppose one developer send you on sql statement saying that okay yesterday it was working the output was coming in 30 second now i'm running the output is coming in 5 minute can you please check what will be your approach to fix it one is straight answer i'll run Tuning advisor for that uh, SQL statement to tell us what others. If you answer, it will give exact step what to do. What else? Suppose tuning advisor is not there with you. You don't know how to use it. What you will do? You will check which all are the tables available in that select statement. maybe five table maybe two table maybe one table maybe 15 table will be there so next go and create the execution plan it's very simple say auto trace one at least uh, there are many ways you can just address only one set auto trace one after doing that you will run it you will be getting that it will tell that whether the sql statement is using index or not so whichever where clause or thing is there whether index is there or not you check if index is not there you can create it next if index is there then what will do you check index is not there you are going to create but what you found that index is already there but optimizer is not using it 
what you'll do internally you check all the object is there stats is latest or not this thing in advice in tuning advisor it will tell that statistic is stale sir stale i never heard check it what is stale statistic if you know well and good if you don't know just check it you'll come to know so stale means the objects where you are getting the stale it's not there in the database with latest statistic so you have to generate statistic to clear this so you create index if already exist make sure that stats is up to date and if this two practically that could be n number as i mentioned normally whatever tuning i have worked on 70 to 80% you can say either stats is not there or index is not there create index on the specific uh, column run it you will able to see it came back to maybe few second only it is running so this approach what i said that we used to do earlier 10 person 9 or 10 but after that this tuning advisor came into the picture and it is making our life more easier definitely you have to follow the step but very less time will take you to finish or fix the issues in the tuning so this is the very basic 75 80% of these are the questions you are going to face beyond that sir i don't know nobody know everything so nothing same on okay how should i say no 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 you don't know no no don't know. that's it so uh that's it uh, from my side